shocker plain water not some sort of jazzified water um just keeping it simple this morning and first sip always so so good i swear something about this new artisanal uh, art artistic bustello tin it just cheers me up every morning um but yeah, today is kind of a work day for me. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work from home, um, but I have some fun things to share with you guys. So it's sort of a pop up and chit chat type of vlog day today. Who knows what mischief we'll get into, but I am at home today um, on this Saturday trying to get some work done on my computer and I have some deadlines coming up. So today's a dedicated work day for me, but I um, wanted to share with you guys, on my face currently, right now, I am wearing the Altruist SPF 30 sunscreen. This I um, reviewed for you guys a long time ago, and I just got a new bottle of it very recently off of Amazon UK. If you're not familiar with this, watch the review video of it if you're interested. But, um, you know, for those of you in the US, you have to buy it on Amazon UK, and you pay a little bit of duties, and it, it takes, eh, about two or three weeks to come, at least to, to Houston. Um, but uh, I love it because it, a portion of the proceeds go to a phenomenal charity. It's very affordable. Fantastic chemical filters for um, sun protection. Very, very stable. But uh, this has in it uh, a compound called Tris Biphenyl Triazine Nano, which is Tinosaur A to B. Um, and that is a phenomenal filter for um, UVA to UVB protection. Very, very good broad spectrum and adds stability to, to chemical filters. So this is very good, very broad spectrum. Lightweight. Um, and I noticed I used to wear, I was wearing, before I, I always used the SPF 50 on my face, but they were out of the 50 when I ordered this, so I got the 30, and I've used the 30 before, but I'm noticing that the 30 is a little less greasy. I, know I look a little shiny because I got, I've got, you know, this is like my fourth layer, but this, um, for those of you who tried the SPF 50 of Altruist and found it really greasy and shiny, I don't know, I think there's a little less shine to the 30. Water resistant, this is actually very acne, acne oily skin friendly, even though it's shining, it, even though it's kind of got a little bit of shine to it. It is very, it, it won't like, it doesn't have anything in it that's irritating in other words. And fragrance free, and I happen to think this one is, for a chemical sunscreen, one that somebody with sensitive skin, at least I won't say I won't say rosacea, but somebody with sensitive skin could dip their toes into. Um, it's great, it's great, and obviously it's moisturizing. But I I really love this sunscreen a lot. Um, so yeah, that is what is on my face right now, and this is going in my system. Blogilates, I'm telling you, uh, her ab routine killing me, killing me, guys. But look how cute my kitchen has come along. I'm really, I'm really kind of pleased with it with all of my, all of my cherry themes, like my cherry blossom theme stuff. It looks so cute. These little kitchen towels that I got in that FabFitFun box. And I use this a fair amount for making um, rolled oats. I don't make rolled oats in the Kosari because I don't know, I find it's pretty easy to make them on the stove. I also got this in my FabFitFun box a while ago, and I don't use it to make coffee, but I've used it to make matcha tea, and I think the matcha tea comes out pretty good when you make it in this, um, rather than rather than doing the whisk, so that's handy. And my little my little tea kettle there, and then I have this little rose uh, cherry blossom water bottle. I need to start using this, but I do use my tea cups a fair amount. I have a, a bit of a tea habit. <laughs> So yeah, it's a little, little kitchen tour. Well, hey guys, what's up? So I've been getting quite a bit of work done and I'm excited because I um, just got in the mail from Warby Parker some glasses. You may have recalled last weekend in the vlogs, my mom got new glasses and I was totally inspired by her new glasses. They, I thought they looked so good that I decided I would order some myself to try on. I ordered my glasses from Warby Parker that I currently have five years ago, so I'm due for due for a new pair of glasses. If you know me, you know I don't enjoy wearing glasses. I just don't like the sensation of things on my face. 
but they're really convenient and I rely on them at night, especially after I take my contact lenses out. So I, um, I'm stoked for this because basically what it is is you go online and you pick out five frames that, you're, that you might want and they mail you the frames and you can try them on at home and then you pick the one that you want and you send them all back and then you send, uh, you upload a copy of your lens prescription and they will send you back the glasses. And um, one thing I love about Warby Parker and why I bought them five years, bought my glasses there five years ago and I'm returning is uh, I believe a portion of, I think they donate a pair of glasses. Every pair of glasses you buy, they donate another pair to someone in need. So that's great. Um, and yeah, I've always, I was really happy with the service last time. Last time I think I just, I don't think I did this try on thing though last time. I, it'll be fun. The first pair of glasses that I got um, are these Lyle frames, I believe they're called. And I got them in this gray color. Yeah, Lyle 370. You guys comment below on what you think. I don't care for these though. <laughs> I don't like them because the top sits right where my eyebrows are and it kind of makes me look like like I have a furrowed brow. I don't care for that. What do you guys think? Yeah. This is good though, you know, like when I saw these online, I was like, oh, those are really cute, but no, they look horrible on me, I think. Lyle, I mean, they look cute from the side, but up front, they're like, they're awful. Yeah, I don't care for those. Comment below. Lyle. Lyle, love it. Wasn't he married to Julia Roberts? I love Julia Roberts. We're going on this tangential thought process here. <laughs> Unibrow, Lyle, Lyle, love it. I don't know. He did. He did have rather pronounced, nice thick eyebrows. I think. Did he's not dead? Here I go again. It's tangential thinking. Sign. I need another cup of coffee. All right, that's Lyle. And this is Hughes in the color chestnut. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, speaking of chestnuts, the tangents are just going to keep going. In Kroger the other day, I was over by the kosher food section. I forgot to show you guys. Have you guys ever had chestnuts? Oh, those are really good. I can't figure out what exactly they are. They're not, are they really a nut? Like, they're really good if you've ever had them. They're, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of sweet a little bit and um, sort of meaty, but they're not, I don't even think they're an actual nut. Um, they're they're more of a like a like a little carb, <laughs> a little carb nugget. I I don't know what family they belong to, but we always had them when I was growing up. Around the holidays, we would roast them in the fireplace. It's probably a hazard, but it was always fun. And uh, I always see them in the kosher food section. And they used to they had them at Costco actually, and years ago I bought the Costco size bag of them. And they were really good. All right, here we go with Hughes. Now Hughes I prefer a little bit better because see how there there is just a subtle they're displaced inferiorly from my um, brow my brow bone so it doesn't quite look like like the unibrow. Yeah, I I like Hughes. What do you guys think? Hughes is better, definitely better than Lyle in my opinion. Not entirely perfect, but I you know this would meet the bill. I mean I don't I don't wear them really out and about. They just need to be comfortable and not hideous. I just wear them at night. Um, I, I rarely ever wear glasses on camera, but maybe I would. These feel really nice though. These don't feel like I've got some, you know, face shield on. So I like that. All right, Hughes. Hughes. Seems like it would be an interesting name for a girl. I don't know if that is a girl's name. I feel like I knew a girl once named Hughes. All right, these are the Eugene. I had a friend, I had, <laughs> I have an acquaintance named Eugene who is a, um, is a, uh, a gynecologist, um, a gyne uh, gyne gyne surgeon. Um, <laughs> so every time I hear the name Eugene, I always think of, think of it. Oh, I like Eugene. Oh, yeah, that's nice. See, the, the the coloration of the frames is such that 
it's subtle and it doesn't it doesn't give you that unibrow severe look. I like Eugene, except I don't know. It's a little it's a little on the boxy side the frame. I think it's, maybe if they were a little rounder. I'm not sure. Hmm. No. Some people look so good in glasses, but I don't know. Mm. Eugene reminds me of, you know what Eugene looks like? <laughs> Eugene looks like something from uh, like working in a cubicle in the 70s, like as a, as a administrative assistant. I'd imagine this, this, these, these have a very 70s vibe, like um, working nine to five. Was that even in the 70s? Sorry. All right, after Eugene, we have, we have Madeline. Madeline's might be, I'm, I'm, busy, I'm, I'm excited for Madeline. Madeline in the color Cherry Blossom. Yes, this, please be good. I, I think I'm gonna like these. I have a, I have a soft spot for Cherry Blossoms, as you can tell from my kitchen. Oh yeah, I do kind of like Madeline. That's cute. totally changes the look of my face I think it, it really does give me an entirely different look let's go up close yeah I like Madeline 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 All right, so far I'm liking Madeline and I'm liking Hugh, uh, Hughes. This was Hughes again. It wouldn't hurt to get two pairs. I like Hughes and I like Madeline. Madeline is a little bit more like, um, like cafe, like sitting at a cafe, um, you know, journaling. It has more of an artistic vibe, whereas Eugene is more getting down to business. I feel. All right, Millie is the last one in the uh, the frame color is Birch Tortoise. I'm neutral as to what I might think about this. I was kind of biased towards Madeline just because of the cherry blossom Madeline. Ooh, do I like that? It's too severe on the underneath part, you know. I think I think it's too severe. No. These remind me of when there is like a billboard of someone and then you know, somebody comes by and does graffiti on it and makes like black circles around their eyes to look like glasses and then paints a mustache on. That's kind of what these remind me of that, that somebody has done to my face. Um, so I don't, I don't think I care for those. And it's, it's solely, for this one, it's solely the color of the frame to me. It's, uh, it's not the frame itself. I think the frame itself would be better if I had chosen, if I had chosen, I think there was another color option and that might, that might have suited, suited me better. But at this point, I am leaning, I'm going between, um, and I might just get both of them. Uh, I'm going between uh, Hughes and Madeline. Madeline is the, because it is angled up slightly, it kind of, you know, um, makes you, if, you, if you're very tired, it kind of, it kind of looks, makes your upper face, it elevates your upper face is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Madeline, I think probably, you know, I, I tend to wear my hair. All right, there I am with my hair up. I don't know, maybe uh, I tend to wear my hair up more than I do down. 
And then let's come back to Hughes with my hair up. I'm, I'm leaning towards Hughes, I think. I'm leaning towards Hughes. Eugene evokes the feelings of some poor, uh, <laughs> abused customer service representative <laughs> that's sitting in a cubicle somewhere, <laughs> taking taking grief all day as part of their as part of their occupation. I feel so bad, poor. I feel badly for those people. They get they take so much abuse as part of their job. It's like they didn't make they didn't make the, the faulty item. They're just there to show, to to uh, shuttle your call and, and and help get you some answers. I, and it's hard to not want to vent on them, but my goodness, like, they must, we should have a customer service representative appreciation day, or they just, I don't know, get an ice cream cake, because yeah, I mean, customer service can be a real, really frustrating thing as a consumer to deal with. But I feel badly for those people, because you know they're there, that's their job, they're, you know, making an income for to support their family you know it, and that's their livelihood but it's not like they made the product it's not like they have anything to do with the packaging or the delivery or anything like that they are merely the punching bag <laughs> i yeah i mean and nobody ever says I, I mean i guess when you have a good experience you say thank you but i'm sure those are far few and far between particularly if you're in a, in a company that has a few really bad products must be very very stressful so yeah but speaking of customer service warby parker has phenomenal customer service this is not sponsored by the way i just like wp so i am leaning towards i'm leaning towards towards hughes at this point guys yeah i'm leaning towards hughes hey guys what's up i have been doing some work for a long time over there in my little in my little nook and I need to do a little stretchy stretchy so I'm gonna fire up my hula hoop here can you see me I might have to change this is what happens when you try and capture uh, impromptu little fun moments without uh, <laughs> exercising caution as to your surrounding area you ruin you ruin your floors and ugh, I hope this comes out. I'm sure it will. This is my Erin Condren blanket. Fortunately, I believe this little chair here from Target is, is uh, coated with some sort of thing. <laughs> some sort of stain repellent. That's what I'm trying to say. But my rug. Oh no. Sadness. All right. So I just blotted up the excess liquid with a towel and now I'm going to do the tried and true baking soda and vinegar method. I'm just going to hopefully allow it to effervesce out of there, I would hope. Please absorb. Maybe just baking soda. I don't know if I need the vinegar or not. I can't remember. See, everybody always says, oh, it must be nice, you know. The nice thing about not having having children is that you don't have messes to pick up after. But when you have the heart of a child, <laughs> oh yeah, the messes ensue. All right, but while that incubates on there, let's get back to the original task at hand, which is a little, a little play time, a little stretchy, stretchy. You guys were asking me um, how this comes. I got I got this for Christmas actually from my mom. She got it on Amazon, and uh, it comes in a small box. It's not a massive box, but the nice thing about this particular hula hoop is that it comes in pieces that you can you then assemble the whole hoop, and I think you can get different pieces to add weight to the hoop, but. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but you guys commented that the Wii is still a thing, the Wii Fit. Remember I mentioned that I like doing this. I got I got really into the Wii Fit. What does this say about me? It's Saturday night and I'm hula hooping 
and making messes. <laughs> Uh, my life has not changed much since I was a toddler. <laughs> my Saturday nights are pretty much the same, except I have a lot more, I have a lot more, many more administrative tasks to, ma to manage. Yeah. You gotta keep it fun, you know? You gotta keep life, life fun. I used to do this kind of thing uh, in medical school, college, graduate school, etc. Long bouts of, of focus require interspersements of, of activity. using these better body, work better body glorified paper plates that I got in my FabFit fun box. But one thing that I was thinking, like they're really good. You get on the floor and you like run in place like mountain climbers. It helps if you have a carpet like this too. Or you can do like plank jacks. I don't know if you guys probably can't see me, but you can do plank jacks. Or, this is a real ab buster. You can suck, suck in here. Or you can do it really slow. That's good for uh, working on your handstands. Brooke Burke, Brooke Burke is, the, is the gal who, who these, are, these are from. Follow instructions for proper use. Failure to do so may result in serious injury. Did I follow the instructions? No. But one thing that I was thinking would be interesting for an inner thigh exercise. You know those tap dancing moves? I forget what they're called. It's like, anyways, you can kind of do that with an inner thigh. <laughs> uh, or the Charleston. Remember the Nordic track? It's kind of what this is like. Hi guys, good morning. So the girls are watching Cleo and Coke Cube, whatever that show is. It's on Netflix. I'm going to get myself together in the morning so I can get a lot done early on in the day. Now I'm playing, playing with knives. Towards the evening. Exclusively and spending too much time working and now I'm a little I'm a little delirious and I'm starting to associate inanimate objects with actual people and including Eugene. I've now named a pair of plastic frames that I'm trying on. Well I didn't name him, he came named. And I'm now I'm now associating a gender. Oh, I have no idea. Anyways, I am whipping up some dinner 
Similar, a similar recipe to what you've seen me do before. All of my recipes, by the way, you guys always ask, can you show how to make your veggies and da 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 All of that I have in a playlist, lifestyle and recipe. So you go there and you'll see how I use my kosari, how I use my air fryer, all the veggies that I cook, how I make them, as well as a variety of other recipes. There's one non-vegan recipe in there um, from before I went vegan, so. Um, but I think you can be veganized. Uh, yeah. So that's where you find those, but I'm just doing one of those here. And I, using the produce that I got from my grocery haul this week, I just have one chayote squash, which you saw me chop up, and a little bit of yellow onion, two cloves of garlic, uh, the tofu that I get from Costco. I didn't show it this week, but I mentioned that that's what I was gonna have. Um, I just did, I just cut the tofu block into four pieces and I stored in one of those meal prep containers in the fridge. Um, and so one, one fourth of it is a, roughly a serving. So I just chop up that one fourth, but leaving it in a container like this outside of its package, um, all the water kind of seeps out of it and you can drain the water from the tofu. I don't, I don't press the tofu. I know you can freeze tofu. I keep meaning to do that. Anyways. So that's the protein source in there. I also have uh, some green bell pepper. I mentioned the uh, two cloves of garlic left over from two grocery hauls past since I didn't get gr garlic this week. I also put in two ribs of celery chopped up and I've got in there currently, you can see I'm getting swole. <laughs> These are the, this is the last one. I just left it out here. I'm actually gonna throw it in, but I left it out here for we're showing you guys this is these are the um the shiitake dry the dried shiitake mushrooms that i got at costco the ones that um were like a limited edition chinese uh new year chinese new year edition shroom dried shroom so i got those and i'm kicking myself for not getting them this past week because this is my last one and i really like them they they are very good they were a little pricey though um, so I don't know. Hopefully they'll still be there next week and get another box of them. Uh, so yeah. Oh, and then seasoning wise, I just put in some of this Frontier Co-op, no salt added, uh, poultry seasoning, uh, with sage, thyme, and onion. So yeah, I'm gonna just throw that other one in there. Oh, and then the liquid is just two cups of water. So these little shiitakes, they, um, they make a nice broth. Like you don't, you don't need to add any salt to this whatsoever, whatsoever, ever, like I showed in my, like I showed in my recipe video, similar, similar recipe videos. But yeah, I just put the slow cooker lid on and then I'm gonna do a slow cook. Uh, I'm just gonna do 200 degrees Fahrenheit for, um, I don't know, it'll go for a couple of hours. I'm gonna go to the gym and continue working tonight. So I'll probably eat. Admittedly, I eat pretty late at night. I eat around nine o'clock at night. So that's what I do. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna hit on start. And yeah, Kosari is, Kosari is a singing back there. So yeah, that is what I'm having for dinner tonight. And what else can I update you guys on? Oh, I don't know what's going on with the weather. Well, I mean, it's like Texas can't, Houston cannot make up its mind. One minute there's a cold front, the next minute there's a heat wave. Like it's it's cyclical. So last night it was hot, and I ended up going to sleep in these running shorts because all of my all of my more summery PJs are kind of put away, and I just happen to have these running shorts out. So I, I went to bed in running shorts and this little 32 degree white tank, white white shirt that I also got at Costco. I got at Costco a while back. I ended up sleeping in that last night because uh, this is the closest thing to you to non non winter PJs I have and then I didn't get dressed this morning because I was like well whatever it's warm in here and it's kind of like clothes and now I'm gonna wear this to the gym <laughs> for my run yeah I'm gonna go on a long run tonight um and then I will finish up the work that I have to do I still have quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff but I'm making a lot of progress today guys I am making a lot of progress so I hope you all enjoyed the vlog thank you for keeping me company today it was a work day and uh, you guys made it entertaining for me hopefully I made it entertaining for you um yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe Eugene and I will talk to you tomorrow bye